Hello, it is Fishbowl Geek, and we are back with Urza. And uh, after last time, where we uh, do a little bit of dungeon crawling into uh, Dwemer's Ruins to return a lexicon, um, yeah, we've now got ancient knowledge, which is probably of limited use to us at this moment. But yeah, you know what else we're going to go ahead and try and do? We gotta do the mind of madness. So on that note, I feel like I probably should have set this up, but I didn't. We're gonna travel to the blue palace. Which is not over yes, it's in fact over here. I'm I find it curious that there's another one down here. I don't know if that's just the way it's reading on the map. Not actually discovered. Yeah, let's just go straight to the blue palace. It's a bit odd that it didn't have a marker right on the Blue Palace itself, but um, I guess to gain access to it we have to talk to somebody else. I can't remember. I remember the fun stuff when we get into uh, into that wing and then into the mind of him, uh, into the realm of Shia Gorath himself. In fact, I, it's not actually his realm, is it? It's a... It's kind of like an offshoot, like he's there and he controls it, but it's not just entirely him. Either way, let's uh, go in and have a bit of fun, and oh my gosh, it's dark. I suppose it is a good thing that uh, just occasionally um, you could put on candlelight or maze light or something like that. Luckily, in a peaceful setting, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, this uh, this probably isn't a super long one. I think while we're here, if actually he's right here, we might return to Fog Firebird because I think we have to tell him we've cleared out Wolf Skull Cave, and then after that, can return in a while to complete that mission. Returned. So, good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Yeah, some necromancers were attempting to summon and bind the Tamer. Oh, Tamer herself! Please tell me you stopped them. Uh, no, I I. Thought I'd carry on. It looked funny, so you know. Of course, I stopped You've them. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. I mean, in fairness, Potema sounded kind of interesting in that book. I mean, we were only getting the uh, one side of the story on reading that uh, that particular book about her. And of course, it was the side on which she was very much evil. She seemed like a, a, a quite a clever tactician, actually, to be able to more or less bring them to their knees. Uh, so, you know, she was winning. Anyway, I believe I've got another question for you, Mr. Firebeard. Do you have business with the court? Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. I'll make an exception for you, but do not bring anything out when you leave. Too many dark deeds transpired in those halls. Do you know what? I guess Anyone I'm really glad. Like yours is welcome here. Yeah, I guess I'm really glad I've already completed uh, Wolf Skull Cave. That made that easier. I'm sure there's... I'm sure quite often I just, like, sneak in. Uh, because it's funny. Now, is this... Is this the entrance? Because, uh... Oh, it might not be, you know. No, it's not. Where's that weird... door? Because we added the mod that might have kind of broken it a bit. Of course, the door's not actually there right now. It was there last time I came in. But now it's not manifesting. Right. I feel like... Oh, is that not even stealing? I just harvested it. That's cool. Uh, okay, I feel like I'm going to try something to fix this. Uh... Which could involve a bit of fanning about. I wonder if I should leave Solitude or just the area of Blue Palace. In fact, I've got an idea. I could try going into another building. Uh, 
Daniel building will do at this point. I mean, oh, yeah, Bart's College, that'll do. Just so I'm out of the loading zone, because I'm going to disable the Blue Palace mod. Uh, and restart the, the game. College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Oh, uh, the armo. I must admit, I wasn't expecting to go straight into the conversation. Always but... a pleasure to meet a prospective bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. Uh, no, you don't. You have a task that you need a, a warrior for, so it's really more akin to. I suppose, technically, it's a companion level quest, um, because you don't have a warrior's guild. You just need an able-bodied person to go and get Elisif some stuff has for you. the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes. According to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Okay. I wish um, you luck in finding the verse. Yes, I will, but also right now, uh, I'm going to save and see what I can do to, um, yeah, disable the mod for the Blue Palace. And hopefully by reloading the game it should work uh, so yeah we'll cut back in and hopefully I will have fixed it okay moment of truth I am loaded back into the game and Okay, I don't. It, it looks like she was scuttling like a crab. It's very strange. I'm hoping by being in the Bard's College when I uh, reloaded um, after disabling the mod that uh, it, it should go quite well when I go in, back into the palace. And hopefully the, ra the room, or the door rather, for the Plagius went, which was there at one point. When I first went into the palace, it was there. It's possible it may have still been there, but it's hard to say. So for now, let's just go back to the palace. And if we're really lucky, we can get in to the right area. I'm just hoping please have worked. I did have a bunch of trouble with the with the mod that I did. Oh yeah, it was to get into the uh, the Mages College. I had to disable a couple of different things actually for that one. And it's well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> oh, this. Yep, okay, this is this is not going to be quite as straightforward as I had hoped. Uh, right. Well, let's try that again. Maybe we just need to leave the region and come back. We'll try that. May need to restart the game, though. Let's go in the world map. Uh, you know what? Let's just go to Morval. Just get entirely out of the region. I love mods. I do. At their heart. I mean, look at this mod. This just makes the screen so uncluttered and nice when you're loading. Um, I, I really like it. Things like this are nice. I've, I have on occasion slipped into immersion breaking mods, but generally I like the immersion ones. I should have anticipated that it wouldn't work for some things until after completing a certain thing. 
Um, but generally, it's all right. Like the cloaks of Skyrim, I can't imagine going back to playing vanilla Skyrim and people not wearing the cloaks because I'm just so used to seeing them. They fit so well. Um, yeah. I've never really gotten into mods as much as I have with this playthrough. I'm, I, you know, I've watched a, a lot of things on YouTube, people talking about the mods and uh, especially some of the ones that add missions that I'm very intrigued about. Definitely looking forward to trying, so I'll probably do that at some point. Word is Ellenwind's furious. A big party at the Thalmor Embassy. And one of the guests went someplace they shouldn't. Caused quite a commotion. <laughs> that that might have been me. That might have been me. Was she upset because I went somewhere I shouldn't, or just because I murdered a whole bunch of people, and uh, we then went and got his burn free afterwards? I imagine that has something to do with it too. Okay, is it still broken? Yes, yes, it is in fact still broken. Right, this is... This is awesome, okay. Fast traveling away, again. In fact, I might have to... I don't think I have fast traveling from the building. Reload the game. Uh, let's just start with Morthal. Just... Probably don't need to be, but I'd like to be just to... Make sure I'm far enough away. I've been I've been quite lucky actually. Mods have sometimes had unintended effects, but they've very rarely broken it, like they have here. And I suppose I maybe it's just a thing. Like if you're more used to using mods, you might get uh, better used to seeing intended or unintended effects. I'm going to do another save. Uh, yes. And uh, we'll see what else we can do to fix this. Nope, that's still not a freaking door. So unbelievably frustrating. There are some issues we must speak about. I'm afraid he has to reschedule, my friend. By all accounts, okay, um, waging war takes his every moment. This is where everybody comes later if they Again, need to. Can't simply cancel an appointment with the Jarl. He serves in my capital city. I'm afraid he can. His authority comes from the Emperor. Do you also serve in his Majesty? He uses all of Hackenguard's resources and doesn't answer to me in the slightest? This hardly seems fair. Yes, you were clearly right on it. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still afraid to harvest stuff. Very strange. Here, I don't know what I've done to break the game. Oh, there really isn't anything over there. The news is the same as it's been for the rest of the war. Our borders are secure, but we have to caution the guard to watch out for defense. Alright, yeah, you're just sleeping here. Don't know how you get away with being a vampire like in this place. Not accidentally been moved to another room. Oh, hey, hello. Well, I'll take the unusual gem. I didn't know that was here. Well, I'm glad I've, I'm glad to remove the mod that gave me the unusual gem at least. But uh, I'd much rather be able to figure out how to get. Um, May well be our only answer. I will empower my students get into to this wing. Yeah, 
it's not there, but that's where you get the. In fact, it is where you will get that later. What's this up here? Is this another way up? We'll need to visit each home for an assessment. Right. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm not sure. Maybe if I delete the mod entirely and then just re download it later, I might have to do that. Okay, I've been looking it up, and uh, yeah, this is, I think I've corrupted a file somewhere, and I'm not sure if I've got one old enough since using the Blue Palace mod to fix it, so, um, actually I've got one more thing I might try, it might not work, but I might try reinstalling the mod for the Blue, Blue Palace, and... If the door is hovering in the doorway, you know what? I'll take that. It's when the door is completely missing that I'm not a fan of. Uh... So I guess I should probably go ahead and reinstall it. Gosh, I'm doing a lot of running around. Hmm... This is not going well, not going well, not going well at all, this is not going well, not going well, not going well at all. Oh, at least it's loading. <laughs> Using mods occasionally sucks, occasionally sucks, occasionally sucks. Using mods occasionally sucks, but eventually it will all work out. Ugh, I, I did get the Mage's College working. Uh. Come and stole your sweet rod. Yes, the door is back. You know what? Uninstalling and reinstalling the mod seems to have done the trick. Yes, it is weird that... Yes, that the door is hanging in the middle of that thing. But you know what? I don't care because it works. It's only taken me 48 minutes to fix this. Oh boy. Right. Um, okay. Actually, no, we don't really need that. Yeah, we'll just take our time and go really slowly. No need to rush. It's looking remarkably uh, well preserved for a room that hasn't been accessed in what, a couple of hundred years? And it looks like the teleportation bits have worked fine. Fingers crossed. Well, right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. My dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. 
A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. <laughs> Hello! How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Pelagius the third? Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right, death outlawed! <laughs> Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? <laughs> I love the way he asks that. <laughs> really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? <laughs> Where are you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? <laughs> but more to the point, do you? Puny, expendable little mortal. Actually think you can convince me to leave. Because I mean, that's kind of. Crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Oh, I do know. I, am I that polite? I think I'm that polite. Azura would be a little bit freaked out right now. Wrong! Actually, part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious. A blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me. You just don't know it. That's surprisingly Shea creepy. Koran, Daedric Prince of Madness, at your service. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not... I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wub Attack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Awesome. I now have the Wub Attack. Oh, actually, that's another good point. Uh, let's have a look at what he's got me wearing. Noble clothes. So, no armor, either. At least it's a nice looking jacket. Okay, um... Where should we go first? I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Right. Let's just go this way, it seems closest. You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. 
All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Oh no, I absolutely missed. I, I'm not a fan because I keep missing a lot. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, a little Pelagius. up and about you're moving right along we'll both be home in no time yes no okay that was fine right um my aim wasn't quite as bad as it has been tragically in the past although i didn't see what that last one was but it looked like one of those uh, dragon printers i wonder if that's related to my level it was a bandit chief as well oh good choice well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she feel the cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered. The objective here is simple, yes, simple then. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, but they do the same. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Right, just one left, which, uh... Hmm, can I remember what this last one is? Not off the top of my head, but as soon as I enter the room, I'll probably remember it. Does he have anything to say while we're in between rooms? I hope you're having a good time. Actually, I hope I'm having a good time. <laughs> I could care less about you. That's right. Ah, so now, my dear Pelagius, can hate himself for being legitimately afraid of things that actually threaten his existence. But only during the day. Honestly, I can't keep up. But by all means, don't stop now! Awesome. Yeah, actually, I have remembered what this one is. Uh, it should be quite, quite straightforward. Ah, now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance.
wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself. And continue hating everyone else. Right, okay. Fair enough. That's uh, it's all very simple. It's such a tiny random little quest. So, I mean it's it's delightfully weird, which is like on par for Shiagora, I've gotta admit. But it, it you know, I I think I've spent like four times as long trying to make them the game work so I could access this region I'm as it does take me to complete this. To like. Or something like that. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually <laughs> succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? Okay. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? <laughs> uh, Master, oh, there he is. Taking me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take that out of it. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta ta! Okay, that's it, and we now have the Baba Jack. Assuming I get out of this place and out of the Blue Palace, then I'll be exceptionally happy. Alright, yeah, that's uh, what, back the way we came. Random, random, random. I don't think there's anything down here, is there? Uh, not see. Thief of virtue. To land. Okay, you know what? Actually, do I have a torch on me? That might give me better light as well. Ah, uh, I do not have a torch. Alright, so somebody has been uh, hanging out down here, probably because there's quite a lot of mead and wine and there's a Thief of Virtue book with a truly awful cover on it by the way and a bedroll they can sleep in I mean the rest of it doesn't look like anyone's been down here but all the other books are burned so has somebody been ah! squatting has somebody been squatting in the uh, in the Blue Palace Pelagius wing because it was just like totally broken? I mean, that's possible, even likely. Although, given the amount of cobwebs, maybe they haven't been here in a while. Yeah, there's nothing in here either, although that would be a convenient place to do it. All right, we finished uh, clearing it out. Um, how do we get back? Because we came in here. I can't go out that way. Oh no, wait. That was. I would. Not gonna lie, I was getting a little bit freaked out. I thought the exit had disappeared. Luckily, it hadn't. I was just being a bit a bit thin. So, 
there we go. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that door to the um, Pelagius Wing can just disappear now. Uh, we've already got everything else that works uh, in the Blue Palace overall. Although, apparently, I have missed stuff when I was reading up the description to see if there was anything in there that explicitly made it. Oh. Uh, did it look like this before? Yes! This is what I was talking about. A very, very cool pool. Wait, what? Seriously? If I look away, will you get clothes? Will you put clothes back on? Yes, you do. That was. Do I get naked if I go in there? No, so the player doesn't get naked. But the companions do. Right, that's... Please put clothes on, please put... Yes, there we go, that's better. I suppose it fits more thematically than not having clothes on, but... It's a bit odd. Alright, what's back here? <gasps> a steam room. I don't know why somebody's put this into the game. But it is kind of hilarious, and a... Old-style jacuzzi? Ooh, activate valve. Oh, wait. <laughs> Somebody thought really hard about this, didn't they? What does that one do? All the water. It's like a fancy day spa. I guess it works for LSF and her crowd. It's kind of cool. I like it. Oh. Oh, this... This might be an issue, you know. Oh, this... This might... Oh, so now this bit works. Okay. That's cool. I'll take that. If I can get back to the main room of Skyrim, I'd be super happy with that. <laughs> rather, rather than falling through the door, I might have broken this game. Oh wait, 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 wait. Please work, please work, please work. <gasps> yes, so the textures are working here. Everything's Lady, being a bit weird. Do you have business with the court? Anyone with a stout heart like yours is welcome here. Okay, so there's a bit of there's a bit of weird texture popping, but I'm not okay, dead, no. Just tidying up. and I'm not falling through the world. So I'm going to take that as a win. Now, I have no idea how long it's actually taken me to complete that. I have been they're fannying about. I've been I've just been just. Yeah, quitting, starting, uh, deleting, reloading, having so much fun. Mods are great, y'all, but uh, on the other hand, it does work now, and we have completed. We have completed that, and now we have. We've got the Wabajack, you guys. Oh, been tending your hounds? You smell it's. It's a bit lame. And I'm only going to keep it in my inventory up until the point where you have the random encounter in the streets where you encounter the old woman that just comes up to you screaming Wabajack, Wabajack, Wabajack. But it's still pretty hey, cool. No, no child, I do not want to play tag. Tell you what I am going to do. Um, what other quests I've got going on? Must have something short. Did this game just freeze? No, it didn't. All right, um, I have decided I'm just going to clear some of the, some more miscellaneous tasks. I'm going to start uh, another quest. And I've literally just read about it, and I've already completely forgotten which one it is, because I'm not going to do the Thieves Guild stuff. Mildly tempted to, but I'm not going to. I could do the Bard College stuff. There's only, like, I think maybe three quests that they send you on. I'm also not going to keep that on. 
what I am going to do, I think I'm re uh, retrieving a uh, retrieving something. So that's what does the lever stone give me? All skills improve faster. No. I mean, yes, maybe, but also no. Is that a dragon? That is a dragon. Yes. Well, I've got I've got a weapon for that, which I don't think. No, I don't. Um, yes, I do. Now, if I could just get him to land, that would be that would actually be ideal. Oh. I've got two. Is there, uh, am I about to fight two dragons? Oh, there is definitely two dragons, and I'm very confused. Oh, hello. Can't get close enough to hit it. Definitely gonna have to land. It shouldn't really have taken off, I don't think. I hope you've been resurrected. So it just landed right behind me. Oh no, you're the different one that's landed right behind me. Don't die, don't die. Right, one stay. Take everything on him. Where's the second? Right, where's the second one? Is he gonna be up here somewhere? He's almost dead. I've, ne <laughs> I've never had two dragon fighters at the same time like that. I guess what, Serana? I'd quite like you to take all that dragon bone that I just picked up because it's really heavy. Oh no, don't worry. You'll love it later. I promise. Wow. Okay, that's quite a lot. Confused. Why am I not... What, have I... what am I not wearing? Oh, right. Well, that explains a lot. Am I at least wearing all the old... Oh, I'm not, am I? Okay, that'll do. Yes, I, I <laughs> lovingly timed to that. That that was amazing. I spin around to her face and she gets dragon swords on right next to her. Okay, that was kind of cool. Um, I'm here to retrieve something and I can't remember what it is or where it's from, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Now that we've just randomly killed two dragons, which is I mean, it's a little bit hilarious. Dragon Bane was quite nice. It did seem to do the job. I assume, I mean, it feels like it went quite quickly. Oh, uh, do you know what? Try not to die. That was... I survived that jump. I feel like I shouldn't have. Uh... Yeah, I'm not convinced this is going to go super well. Oh, you know what? I'm not dead. Ooh. I'm not dead yet, so I'm taking this as a bit of a win. I don't know what level I should be on to get access to that cave. It's probably going to end up being like... 
Oh, it is below me, isn't it? Oh, hey. Forget the, uh... Nest, so right next to the thing. Okay. I'm not going to use that, but I shall use that. Blind Cliff Cave. Looks dramatic, but I'm going in. I'm hoping we'll get some actual... Uh, actual combat action. I mean, to be fair, I have just fought, fought and killed two dragons. Really, quite simply. Despite the fact that I was wearing party clothes. Essentially, party clothes. Oh, it's Force One. Alright. Have I accidentally not picked a shout or something? Go back to fire breath. Yeah, that'll do. We're in here. I think I'm retrieving some books. What was that? What was that? Ha! Found you. Yo! is going fairly well. Where is the Mesa Malak Bowl? There we go. Where are you? Where are you? Come on, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm genuinely about to die, aren't I? Uh... Well, I'll poison somebody. Probably should have thought of that before now. Yeah, that'll do. Now, who's still really tempted to kick my ass? Oh wait, I think... I th Annoyingly, I think they're all dead. Uh, oh wait, see I came up here. Oh, oh wait, am I... Am I going through... Wow, this is all messed up, isn't it? It's so cool. Blind Cliff Towers, eh? I'm a bit lost and confused. Ah, I think that's the steps. There it is. Yes, yes, I did hear that. Um, you know what else? I'm sure somebody's gonna love that. Amethyst, eh? Is somebody like right on my ass and resurrecting stuff? Okay, 
Okay, that's actually not, not bad, isn't it? Uh, ooh, hey, hello. So I could go up. I wonder if that's an exit. I'm going to come out later. I suppose it might be. Blind Cliff Bastion. It also sounded like, um, because I couldn't hear anything, that I might have left my allies behind at some point. Well, I have my Daedric uh, ally, so to speak, but I don't have anything else. Ooh, hello. Pretty, pretty flesh. Let me out. Uh, I'd, I'd love to. Petra, evil Petra put me here, stole my tower, hid her, threw her bones. Let me out, kind, kind meat. Sure, I'll let you out. She's going to do all my work for me, isn't she? She totally is. Oh, good, Serana is here. Um, guys, nobody yes. kill her. Let us go up. Find Petra on the way. Press only middle button. Clever trick, yes. Nobody ever thinks of the middle. Hey, that's not that hard to find through trial and error. Go on, love, you got this. <laughs> oh wait, are we are we going back out? Uh open gates. We are we doing this? We're we going this way? It's like we're Darn it! I wish I had that teleport skill or the is it telekinesis where you can track things to you? Like, situationally, I don't think I'd use it that much. Hey. Well, it wasn't just me that killed you, Lova, because I can see the ice sticking out of your chest. That was quite funny. She could have pulled out. Oh yeah, we got the killing blow. I'm not sure if this seems like it should have been a spell book. Oh, it's got the Sigi Gorder in there. I have to remember to read that later. Do like a pretty tower. Live in my tower. Roast in my home. Mix pretty poisons and collect shiny eyeballs. Yes. I spit on you, dead sister. Cool. I don't think she's going to kill us, but we are gonna have to get some loot out of this place. Um Ah, Shalzor's insights. 
Well, we'll take it. I'm pretty sure it was just a. Yes, we'll take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Skeletal foot. Nice. Spell tome. Frenzy. Apparently, I did not know frenzy. No. I thought. Oh no, you get Melka's eye if you kill Melka. Do I get it if I still kill her? If I kill her now, will Such I get Melka's eye? No, I can't pickpocket her. I might have missed. I might have missed the opportunity to get uh, the Melka's eye, which I is a unique staff. I don't recall exactly what it does, but it is. I do know it's a unique staff. Now, is there anything else in this location before I leave? Uh, apart from. Pine thrush eggs. Going to go out and live and assume there's pine thrushes somewhere in this place. Ah, change. Change. Oh, is it just a way to open? Oh, open where presumably Petra slept. Oh, that's a that's the way out. Huh? Yes, that helps, doesn't it? to be stuck on uh, thank you for shoving me up if I wasn't worried about what would happen I would probably just like there we go right so this is this is blind cliff so it's not the one where you do the leap of faith so I'm not gonna jump right this strikes me as a good place to uh, kind of end. I'm just going to very quickly fast forward back and hand this in to it's one of Shalador's writings. I think it's I think it's mostly just a radiant quest um, for the librarian. But it will clear something out of my quest. Log, and I'm going to try very hard not to pick up another one so that it will stay out of my uh, quest log as well, which would be real nice. And what should we do next time? Oh, do you know what? I saw some Dongard stuff on that quest list. I think I might do some Dongard stuff. Don't know what that noise was, but... Was or is. Ah! Hello. Hello. Chanting services need something. Are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. Excellent. I'll start translating it. Shouldn't take me more than a day or two. Right. I only just got my hands on it. I can only work so quickly. Until uh, next time. I... Okay, that's fair enough. I suppose I haven't actually done anything to it yet. Alright, so yeah, this oh man, it's such a great place to end it. That's such a an interesting shot and I'm just sitting chilling out. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just admiring the college and we've just done our little uh, do gooder friendly helpful task of the day. Um, and yeah, so we've had uh, I haven't had a particularly fun time trying to get um, the quest to work in the first place. At one point I was quite concerned I'd uh, I wouldn't be able to complete it because I'd somehow corrupted uh, a file quite long ago and I wasn't going to bother. So my last ditch hope was in fact to reinstall the mod and hope that the door floating in the middle of the frame, the doorway, would be there and it would let me complete the quest. It did. Don't know what happened at the end when I came out and I was just exploring the uh, grounds and then I've managed to fall through the world. 
whatever, because then that, that did actually allow me to um, go upstairs and I could still get out. So I wasn't like horribly trapped or anything. So I got lucky there. I'm not even sure it was it was actually the Blue Palace mod that, that corrupted the file. It, it probably is, let's be honest, given that it affected the Blue Palace. But, you know, that's the risk you take when you play with mods. Like, I guess anything that changes buildings, much as this one has, um, for trying to enter the, the Mage's College in the first place was a bit of a drama and then the one for the blue palace also a bit of a drama so yeah you know but that's, that's that's part of the charm if you want to improve it improve it your own risk it's right there in the disclaimer when you start playing with mods so anyway despite all that Urzra's had fun on her quest she got to go into the mind of pelagius the third and uh, help cure him of his ills so even though it's like part of a dead man's mind at least he's no longer quite so mad yeah, swings and roundabouts, and we've got to go and help Melka defeat her sister Petra. Uh, we didn't get the unique staff out of it, but I didn't really want to kill her this time, so I, you know, that's fair enough. I had mercy, and I didn't kill her. I, there might have been something else unique in there, but it's it's just a staff at the end of the day. Um, and I, you know, it is actually more fun to go and help her kill her sister and just watch her do all the hard work. She's kind of funny. It's a bit weird. That's a, that's a fun little dungeon to go around and crawl in. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed playing. And uh, I will see you guys next time where we will do some more stuff for the Dawn Guard. Thanks for watching, guys. Ta-ta for now.